When it comes to COVID-19, the CDC is no longer offering different guidance for those who are and those who are not vaccinated. Can tv 4s Jeremy Lee spoke with a group of employees who haven't been able to return to work to Hawaiian Airlines due to their vaccination status. He joins us live with their story. Jeremy. Mika and Rick, at the beginning of the week, a spokesperson from Hawaiian Airlines told me its policy was unchanged. Today, I was told the company's policy is, quote, in the evaluation phase. Now, for many of the 270 airline workers who haven't been welcomed to return to work because of their vaccination status, the new development, along with recent headlines, has offered a glimmer of hope. Those dismissed or put on leave from Hawaiian Airlines held signs like this one, announcing the total years collectively put in for the company. The group also welcomed news of a recent settlement between an Illinois health care provider and unvaccinated health care workers who sought religious exemptions. Settlement with the hospital and also the updating of the CDC guidance. Um, people are hopeful. They see this as a great opportunity to be returned if Hawaiian would open their hearts to do so. A Hawaiian Airlines spokesperson told KITV, we acknowledge that the conditions of the pandemic and CDC guidance are evolving and continue to review our vaccination policy in consultation with our medical advisors. Earlier this week, the company affirmed all U.S.-based teammates are currently required to be vaccinated or, quote, receive reasonable accommodations. Those reasonable accommodations are what flight attendant Dwayne Toussaint hoped for before he was terminated. He had been with Hawaiian since he was 18 years old and says only about a half dozen religious exemptions were granted. They offered us a one-year leave of absence without pay. And at the end of that one-year leave of absence, I would have to come back vaccinated. I applied for a religious accommodation and they said that I had a strong held religious belief, but they were unable to accommodate me. One pilot described his religious objection to the mRNA vaccines as they were announced as experimental at the time in early 2021. They also promised to be 94% effective in preventing COVID. But also the development factors of the vaccines were developed using fetal cell lines, uh, which is in opposition to our religious beliefs. The CDC did change their stance on um, not treating vaccinated and unvaccinated in different methods. In accordance with that, I've asked the executives and my supervisors at Hawaiian Airlines what their plan is to bring us back to work, uh, and I've received no response. The continued hope for those seeking a return is that this story continues to develop and change. Hawaiian is the only U.S. carrier with a policy against unvaccinated workers after United allowed their employees to return in March who weren't vaccinated. Hawaiian Airlines has hired 1,200 employees since the beginning of the year, and the company is still hiring. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.